It was. It was a total shock. All. Uh, I, I remember Ron had phoned me the night before and said there was a problem at the club. Yeah. Uh, and but there's no way I'm going to resign. Yeah. So see you tomorrow at training. But I didn't see Ron the next day at training. For some reason, he decided to go. And you know, the next thing we're knowing, because the other thing, Paul, I don't, I, I don't remember Ron turning up at the training ground the next day to say goodbye. Roy? I don't remember. I, I, I can't remember us having a sit down with Ron where he's explained to us that he's resigning mm. and he's off. Yeah. I think he, he just resigned and that was it. He never came back again. Yeah. You didn't. If anything, no, he didn't come to the. I, I, can't, re, I can't remember oh. the ground, the training ground. No. Did he phone you up after that conversation? How late in the day was it when you would see you tomorrow, uh, Dennis? No, so, this was the, even, the evening before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, how yeah. late in the evening? So, what had happened? Oh yeah, it was, it was from like, that. Know, about, yeah. Probably about eight o'clock, sort yeah. of something like that. Yeah. And he would know, have gone to was... bed probably at ten, eleven o'clock. So, what happened in them three hours that made him change his mind? Must have well, been a with Yeah, he's, he's had he's, he's he continued have. his convers. Yeah, he's continued he continued his conversation, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he, he must have done. Have. And then and then he's he's not you know Bendel's. And Ron have decided that, you know, uh, neither of them is going to uh, sort of back down. Uh, and Ron has done the thing which he thinks is the only way. Whether he was calling the bluff, I don't know. But, you know, Mr. Bendel didn't take it that way. He thought, well, OK, if you want to leave, Ron, you can go. You know, the reason, obviously, the reason he left, Ron's never really discussed it. 